the medical system. Oh, th this, this is so far beyond reality that you got to know. This is not like from the Babylon Bee. This is not like a joke. This is absolute reality. The medical system is actually discussing right now. Actually, it's been happening since 2021, but it's actually getting to the place where it's getting before Congress. They're considering lowering the standards for doctors in order to meet DEI and racial quotas. Yeah, you heard me right. So I got to ask a question. Uh, when you go to the doctor, or if you know someone in your family that's recently gone to a doctor, they had a medical condition or problem, uh, you, you want the best. Am I right? In fact, every time you talk to someone, oh, I got the best doctor. He's like the greatest. He's the best. Everybody wants the best. Whether they are or not, well, it's a matter of opinion, but everyone wants the best. And one way of knowing who the best is, like in my case, I had prostate cancer. I went and I found the best in New York. Great guy. What I did was I researched and I found out how did he do in school? I want to know how he, you know, graduated. Was he the top of his class or was he the bottom of his class? Because if he's the bottom of the class, forget about it. I ain't going to that guy. I want someone who is the best of the best. In other words, he's in the top three, four, five percent. Well, according to the new standards for DEI and racial considerations and racial quotas, we now have to allow people who are at the bottom of the class and even failed class, that's right, we have to allow them to get a medical degree and get a license to practice medicine. <laughs> now, who's gonna wanna go to this doctor? Well, let me tell you who's gonna end up going to that doctor. The poor and the people who don't know any better. Why? Because people like you and I are gonna investigate. We're going to research and find out this doctor that they're trying to send us to, is he really any good or she, is they, are they really any good? But the average person who's poor, who's you know destitute, who doesn't have anything, the government will pay these doctors in order to service these people who, well, they don't really care, you know, if they die. Kind of like the people on Trank. Well, you know, if they die, they die. Let's just help them along. Let's inject them. In fact, let's get the drugs for them. The government will buy the drugs from the drug dealers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, they wouldn't do that. No. Hmm. Don't put anything past what they'll do. So I want us to look at this, this clip. This is Elon Musk. And you, you, you know Lemon because this guy is like got to be one of the dumbest people uh, on television, at least my personal opinion. But Don Lemon is, um, well, let's watch it. And then we'll talk. I believe that it, uh, if if we if we lower the standards for what it takes to become a doctor, you're saying if we lower the standards, <laughs> do you believe people are dying because the standards are being lowered? I I don't or have think that lowered. is yes an issue, but it could become an issue. Okay, but the actual evidence in history shows the exact opposite. If you look at how minorities <laughs> are treated by the medical system, <laughs> oh, most doctors okay. most doctors now are white. And there are lots of mistakes in medicine. So you're well, saying that I wonder why my doctors are have bad medical care. I'm trying to understand your logic here when it comes to DEI because there's no actual evidence of what you're saying. No, I, I said so. If oh the standards, like, if, like let's say, uh, I think that particular thing was re referring to surgeons. Let's say a surgeon is, uh, is asked to uh, a a surgeon in training is asked to do it a series of operations out of the supervision of a senior surgeon, and they get a bunch of those operations wrong. If, 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 if that happens, and yet they are still approved to be a surgeon, <laughs> the probability that someone will die, I think, at some point is high. Okay, I understand that, but that's a hypothetical. That doesn't mean it's happening. I didn't say it was, I, it's happening. You, you didn't say <laughs> it was happening. I said, I said it will. You said, <laughs> I said, if, if, if we lower standards, people, people will die. But why respond to something or put something out there that has not happened? Because I could say, you know, I don't want it to happen. I think we don't want to lower the lowest standards. OK, if you look at the history of the medical industry, um, especially when it comes to black Americans, it shows the exact unbelievable the Tuskegee experiment and on and on. Only five percent of doctors are in America are black. All of them are white. So are you saying that if the majority of doctors are white, are you saying that D and there are still these inequities, right? And there's, and people still, 
there's still mistakes. Are you blaming DEI for that? No, I'm, just, I, I'm, <clears throat> I'm very, very, very basically saying that if we lower standards uh, for what it takes to become uh, a board certified surgeon uh, or, <laughs> you know, an oncologist or something <laughs> where, that, where the, the kind of disease we're talking about, if you make a mistake, causes someone to die, then the, the more people will die than if we don't lower the standards. Therefore, we should not lower the standards. But why do you think they're lowering the standards for minority doctors or women doctors or? That's what the, the, the audit, that's what that article said, suggested. Yes. Yeah. At the, at Duke University. Okay. See, what Don Lemon doesn't want to acknowledge is the absolute truth. He, he's saying that there are more doctors in the world that are white than black, and that's a fact. And we acknowledge that. Uh, Musk was too nice to go there. I wouldn't be. It, 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 why are there more white doctors than black doctors? Um, they're smarter. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, they study more. They're more intense about what they want to do. They're more um, into what they're doing. So they studied harder in order to get better marks, better tests. What they want to do is reduce the standards of medical testing so that someone who is of a minority status or doesn't have the wherewithal or, you know, desire uh, to be the best can still get through and get a medical certificate as a doctor. And, 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 and Lemon is going, well, uh, that hasn't happened yet. So well, why would we focus on something that hasn't happened? Okay. Because we don't want it to happen, that's why. Why would we want to open up the standards, re re reduce the standards, open it up to a wide variety of people who are not capable or able in the beginning? Uh, because, why? Because maybe they didn't graduate high school. Oh, that's not going to be a requirement any longer. That's right. Oh, maybe they, they were, you know, under 3, 3.0 grade average. Well, it won't be a requirement anymore. Well, where do we establish the requirements? Well, no matter where we put them, there's going to be people who are in the DEI side and on the, the racial side. They're going to be saying, well, well, we have to lower their standards because we need more of this color or more of this uh, nationality or more of these people. It shouldn't be about color. It shouldn't be about color at all. I don't care if you're black, white, Indian. I don't care what nationality, what race you are. It doesn't matter. If you do well, you get to graduate and get a degree. Period. End of story. And that should be the story. But it isn't and it can't be because whites always seem to come out on top. And so because of that, we have the people in the DEI side who are saying, well, you know, uh, we have to change the standards because whites are coming out too high. So in other words, they, they want us to just reduce the number of people who are good and qualified in order to get a medical degree or in order to practice medicine so that we can get people in there who are of, of the right color and the right culture, the right background, so that we're at least more diverse. It's all about diversity instead of expertise. It's all about diversity instead of the people who are actually qualified for the job. That is wrong. You and I can see that. I know you, I know you know that. I made that point before we showed this video. I want the best working on me and my body and my family and my friends and the people that I know. I don't want someone who is unqualified or unable to be able to do the job. What's so wrong with that? Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but yet this is what we're facing. The ones with the highest scores should be the ones who get the accolades. They should be the ones who get the better jobs, who get the, uh, you know, the most money. That's the way it should be. But the lower scores these people somehow have become popular among our culture today. And they're popular only because of they're a different color or because they have a different cultural background. And that should be absolutely no reason whatsoever for us to look at making the tables equal. There is no equality. When it comes to the best, the best is the best, regardless of their background, period. End of story. Let's look at this picture. We put this up here. The report outlines practices and interventions that can increase racial, ethnic, gender, and socioeconomic diversity among the physician workforce. Okay, so this is a uh, an idea that 
DEI supposedly levels the playing field to everyone. So the medical field is saying, we want to level the playing field for everyone out there. Doesn't matter who you are or what your background is. And this, my friends, is the American Medical Association working in conjunction right now with medical practices all across the country. And they're jumping on board, trying to pressure our Congress and our Senate in order to pass certain laws that will allow them to implement DEI and racial quotas in our medical administrations and fields and country, all across the country, our, our, our hospitals, uh, our, our specialty clinics, everywhere they want to be able to implement DEI and racial quotas. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely concerned because we're heading in the wrong direction.